Three Russians gather in a hotel room in Unalaska, toasting each other and their journey. Four expedition. One, two, three. Hurra! They've come from towns near Moscow, in Siberia, and in Washington, and are headed to the remote Chuganadek Island, home to Cleveland Volcano, to set up a ham radio outpost. It will be the first time for ham radio enthusiasts, or hams, to make contact with the island. And uh, we came here just with one target, to activate one of the latest rare island, which is uh, Chugindak Island. Sergei Morozov, known as Romeo Alpha 3 November Alpha November on the airwaves, is a member of the Russian Robinson Club and is participating in the expedition. The club aims to set up temporary ham radio transmission and reception stations on islands around the world. Named after the famous marooned sailor Robinson Crusoe, the club has over a thousand members worldwide. Uh, Our society divided by two parts. One of them is an activator. Another one is hunter. The the activator group very small, very little, as we do. And the hunters, they're looking who is uh, in the island now. Especially, they're much interesting who is the uh, first time on the island. The group is traveling with almost 1,000 pounds of equipment and supplies, including transmitters, antennas, and power generators, to the island to activate it. That means allowing as many hams as possible from around the world to make audio contact with them. There's fewer than 10 islands on the planet that have not been activated. Anyone who makes contacts gets a QSL card, like a merit badge that confirms they succeeded. But expedition coordinator Yuri Shushkin says it's not as simple as just dialing in a radio frequency. Of course, it depends on propagation, uh, output power, of station, our station and their station on a uh, type of antenna used and the time of the day, of course. A middle-aged Russian man sits on a folding camp chair, listening to a ham radio. Roger, thank you. And 73, this is KL7DX, listening 5 up, please. He's part of the Russian Robinson Amateur Radio Club. He and two others traveled over 5,000 miles to Chuganadek Island to set up a ham radio station and activate an island that had never before been contacted by amateur radio operators or hams. Because I want to be far away from big cities, from many travels, from email, from cell phone. I want to go with my friends in some far place. That's kind of adventure. I like that. Sergei Morosev funded most of the $30,000 expedition. Much of the money went towards plane tickets and chartering the processing vessel Lady Goodney to take them to the island. But on the way, they ran into unexpected problems. Uh, it's erupting big time. Like uh, when we went by uh, oh, come on, it's a big old mushroom. Around noon on Monday, July 21st, the fishing vessel Pearl J broadcast over the radio that Mount Cleveland, on Chuganadak Island, had begun erupting. That was just as the team was looking for a good location to anchor the ship and set up camp. After Ash covered the Lady Goodney, the captain turned her around and pulled into Skiff Cove to wait out the night. Yuri Shushkin looked out the window towards the erupting volcano. You see it about 300 meters away. And the guys who came from Russia, they came like 9,000 miles or so. And being so close to your goal and not being able to, not because of the boat or some other consequences, but it's volcano. After a day's delay, they decided it was safe to land in the cove despite the volcano's continued rumbles. 
With stockpiles of Russian black bread, vodka, tea, and cigarettes, they set up camp. They built a 25-foot-tall, 30-foot-wide antenna and attached it to a generator, radio transmitters, and an amplifier. Morosov made the first contact with another ham. I feel perfect. Not every day I came to the island. Not every day I set up antenna in the, <clears throat> in the volcano and make a radio contact with the fire station. But they soon discovered that their amplifier didn't work, which made their signal harder to hear. When they couldn't fix it, they decided just to operate without it. The first night on the island, as the volcano still rumbled in the distance, they encountered another problem. Their six-foot-tall tent couldn't hold up to the Aleutian winds. Come morning, they tried to stabilize the tent as best they could and continued transmitting, but they had trouble making more contacts. Shushkin explained that the sun's cycle negatively affected their signal's propagation. The sun, as you know, it's big reactor, and sometimes it's less active, sometimes it's more active. As of right now, it's at the bottom of its activity. That meant making clear voice contact with people around the world was difficult. They had to resort to mainly using Morse code. Yuri Zaruba stayed up late into the night tapping out letters and listening for a response. The team wanted to connect with as many hams as possible, especially during the last 24 hours of their week-long expedition. That was the time for the international Islands on the Air contest. The ham or team that made the most contacts with other operators in other islands around the world would win a certificate or a trophy. Delta Florida One, Yankee Quebec. Delta Florida One, Yankee During the contest, propagation was low, the tent blew in again, and rain pounded the camp. But at the end of the 24-hour period, they had made 206 contacts. Most just included exchanges of call signs. But Shishkin says one was special. And when we sent him our contest number, it was 88. And we got from him number 73. So it's kind of symbolic because both of those numbers mean something in amateur radio. Uh, 73 means uh, best wishes and 88 uh, means kisses. They won't know for a couple of months if they won the competition. But Shushkin says, overall, they had more experiences than they ever bargained for. 7-3, best wishes. Reporting from call station KL7DX on Chinonadek Island, I'm Ann Hillman. Вот, а вот здесь вот я соединил с другим там, где Кливленд, в итоге получается Чугинадак. Вот, а это знак наш, Russian Robinson Club. Вот так вот. Где только не побывали Робинзоны. Вот где-то там Кливленд, туман полный. Вот это Гряда. Гряда Робинзонов. Любители. Ради любителей России. Русские люди. Так, ну и покажем себя, если получится. На фоне. На фоне там пика ради любителей. Россия! Есть открытие острова, есть достижение новой вершины, пока еще не поименованной. Ну, будет вершина ради любительская, или ради любителей, или пик ради любителей. В английском варианте Heaven Radio очень понятно. И мы вернемся, мы, конечно, доплывем. 40 футов. Это будет тысяча и тысяча Ну все, немножко за работу. Чуть-чуть согреемся <как> правильным напитком. А то здесь задубил. 
Вот колонки есть чуть-чуть. Ну и гурей пора ставить и собираться вниз. А то он там снег лежит. Весь черный покрытый этим ошхолом. Выбросами. Вот вся эта гряда нас очищала. Позиция нашей экспедиции где-то там. Все, пока.